I would dig a thousand holes to lay next to you. I would dig a thousand more if I needed to. I look around the grave for an escape route of all routine. It doesn't seem to be any other way. 'Cause I've started falling apart. I'm not savoring life. I've forgotten how good it could be to feel alive. Crazy as it sounds, you won't. Feel as low as you feel right now. At least that's what I've been told by everyone. Whisper empty sounds in your ear and hope you won't let go. Take the pieces and build them skyward. 'Cause I've started falling apart. I'm not savoring life. I've forgotten how good it could be to feel alive. Take them pieces and build them skyward. 'Cause I've started falling apart. I'm not savoring life. I've forgotten how good it could be to feel alive. Take them pieces and build them skyward. Falling apart, I'm not savoring life. I've forgotten how good it could be to feel alive. I've started falling apart, I'm not savoring life. I've forgotten how good it could be. To feel alive, take them pieces and build them skyward. Take the pieces and build them skyward. And take the pieces and build them skyward. And take them pieces and build them up to the sky. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Machines by Biffy Clyro. So this has been suggested to me and I hadn't heard it for quite some time and forgotten what a great song it was and the chords are really nice and easy and believe it or not I met these guys a long time ago when they played a gig in like this rugby club along with a funeral for a friend and I was playing with another band and I met the guys and they were really cool they would never remember me it was like way before they were famous but um, I was a big fan of them back then, and I still am now. So without further ado, let's zoom in and get straight into it. So let's have a look at the chords, nice easy chords. It starts off with the intro, which he uses the chorus chords, okay? Now the rhythm from what I can gather is just kind of downstrokes. You might have worked out from the intro that I've only played this through a couple of times, and so I definitely need more practice because my rhythm isn't amazing. But from what I can gather, He's just using downstrokes, okay? So we've got that E minor, and notice I'm leaving these fingers on here. That's the third finger on the B string at the third fret, the pinky underneath it, uh, first string on the third fret. Okay. Did I say that right? Um, third finger, third fret, second string, pinky underneath it, third fret, first string. So E minor. Da, 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 da. So it's kind of like these accents you want to look out for. It's when you an accent's when you play a little bit harder. Okay, and if you listen to it, he plays a lot softer. 
and a lot slower. And then I'm moving to this like G. I'm doing the same rhythm. Da 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 da. And I'm just playing a G5. Okay. If you find some footage from playing it acoustically online, you'll see why. Okay. So instead of playing a normal G, of course you can use a normal G, but I'm just trying to be a bit more authentic to the record. Okay. So what happens is then your your second finger just slightly mutes this A string. More like uh, a G5, okay? And then he does the same with C. So it's not a proper C add nine, because obviously with these fingers, it makes it an add nine. Just get rid of that first finger. Try not to hit this bottom E string. You can mute it with your thumb if you're clever. Then we go over to this D. Again, these fingers don't move. First finger. Uh, third string on in the second fret on the G string, okay. Then it goes back to that G and the C. So let me play that for you again. E minor, G, C holds there, and D back to G and C. Now we're into the first verse, which is G. So let's take a look at the first verse. And it starts off with the G. Let's do it nice and slow. So again, I'm doing this G5, so we're kind of muting the A string here. Like normally it'd be like that, right? So just remove the first finger. Da 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 da. So you're always listening to accents when you're trying to work out songs. Always listen to the accents of the rhythm. I get so many people saying, "What is it? Is it down up, down up, down up, down up?" It doesn't matter. You have to listen to how the rhythm plays. Okay. Now I know I'm not doing it exactly what they're doing, but it's just to get you going. Okay. So that's the G. Over to the C. Again, this broken C add nine, okay? So these fingers are gonna stay on. This first finger is in the third fret on the A string and this isn't doing anything, okay? E minor, normal E minor. To the D. Back to the C. That's the first half of the first verse. Second half starts again on G. Over to C again. Now this time, instead of E minor, we're going to go to D and G and C. Let's go straight into the chorus. E minor. just repeats for the solo section. Now the solo is really easy guys. I'm not going to show you how to do it. You can work it out, okay? Just take it really slowly. Look up the tab on Google, it's really easy. Then we're into the second verse. It's exactly the same as the first verse, apart from the end section. So I'll go through it with you. So second verse, first section, G. It's exactly the same as the first verse. C. E minor. D. C. So this is where it changes from the first one, okay? D, E minor, C, A 
seven suspended four, and it's just like the, you know, when we were playing D, it's actually called D sus four, but it just means you put your first finger in the second fret on the D string and leave the other fingers where they are. And then finally it's a C and that A sus four again. Take the pieces and build them skyward. So I'll just do that second verse all the way through so you get a feel for it, okay? Here we go. Over to the C. E minor. D. C. Now it's the second half that changes. Here we go. D. E minor, C, A7, and C, 2, 3, 4, A7, 2, 3, 4, chorus. Exactly the same, okay, D, G, C. Then it's the second solo, which is exactly the same chords, okay? G, C, back to D, and C. Now it's just the lyrics change a bit here. So it goes to G, I'm steady falling apart, I'm not savoring C. E minor, forgotten how good it could be. D to feel alive. C, take the pieces and build them skyward. D, G, C, A7. Now it's like the outro. E minor, G, C, A7. Finish off with a C add nine. Okay, so if you try playing along with me at the beginning, I know I'm not playing it perfect, but that should help you out. Okay, uh, the lyrics and chords I was using because I found them online, but they weren't exactly correct, so I just made a few adjustments and pulled them off one of those popular websites. And I'll put the link below so you can print it out because I get a lot of people saying, oh don't want to write it down and don't want to memorize it but I'm a big fan of you know trying to learn stuff by listening and then you retain it more okay so good luck good luck with that guys good luck <laughs> good luck with it guys all right so there you have it guys hope you enjoyed this week's lesson please don't forget give me the thumbs up subscribe check out the links below and please remember guys I don't get paid for these videos so if you'd like to support me by adding a small donation onto my website I'd super appreciate it, okay? I say my website, I've got a PayPal link on my website, or you can find the link below. Super, super appreciate it, and it just helps me out. And I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy.